Well, today in this laboratory, uh, we try to win uh, what I call my last battle. My last battle is to be able to prevent the remaining drawback of uh, valvular bioprosthesis, which is uh, calcification of the tissue after years or decades. And it is particularly important because for the moment, uh, we cannot use this valve in uh, young children and in young adults, which is a pity because it is particularly in this age that the people will enjoy a good quality of life. And we have done uh, quite significant progress in this uh, field uh, because the early model lasted only, I would say, eight years, whereas with the new treatment, we, we think we are going to have a 20 years durability in most patients, maybe including the young population. Yesterday, I uh, reoperated a patient 10 years after his operation, who precisely had calcification of his valve. The valve uh, became progressively standardic. <laughs> When I operated him 10 years ago, he insisted to have a bioprosthesis because he wanted to have a normal life without anticoagulation. And, uh, but I told them one day or another, I will have to reoperate you. And it lasted uh, almost 10 years. This uh, leaflet here doesn't move very well. This leaflet here move a little bit more, but these leaflet here also move, but not, not as much as it should. And I reoperated him yesterday, and then uh, I reimplant another bioprosthesis because he wanted, absolutely wanted, uh, to have another bioprosthesis, having enjoyed uh, the benefit of this type of valve with normal life. I'm still alive. <laughs> and he told me when I was 42, you are nearly dead. I think this guy will, will need an operation, a third operation, but probably after 15 or maybe 20 years. So I am 65, so what? No problem. <laughs> There are two aspects to take into consideration for a long life of a valve. It's not any more immunological reactions, this has been solved. But one is calcification, I already mentioned that. But the other one is the wearing, uh, the fatigue lesions. And the model we have for fatigue testing is uh, by having valves or membrane moving in an accelerated manner uh, to enhance the fatigue. Provided that you increase the rate of the motion of the piston uh, holding the valve. Uh, then you can have a rate which is four times the rate of a normal heart. So in six months, you have the equivalent of two years by just increasing four times uh, the normal heart rate. And that's extremely useful because you save time. 